Hello, welcome to another TypeScript video. In this video, we are going to look at callback functions. First, let's see what is callback functions. We know what is functions, and we also know we can pass function as a parameter to another function. So basically, when you pass a function as a parameter to another function, and you expect that function to be called by the receiver at some point, then we call that function as callback function. In TypeScript, we can use callback function in both synchronous and asynchronous programming. Let's first see an example for using callback function in synchronous programming. Let's say I want to add two numbers and for that I'm going to add a function called add and it is going to take two parameters a and b. And within this function, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply print the result of the sum of a and b using console.log like this and if i call this function with two values say 5 comma 2 and if i run this code you'll see the result printed here now let's imagine a scenario where the caller of this add function wants to specify how the result needs to be printed and there are many ways to achieve that and one of the ways is we can change the definition of add to take callback function as a third parameter and we can use that callback function to print the result so let's first define a function called pretty print like this so what this function does is it takes two parameters label and value and it prints them in a slightly prettier way now let's change this add function's definition to take third parameter. I'm going to call this print callback. And the signature of this print callback is basically a string comma any and it returns y. And within this um, add function, I'm going to use the print callback instead of console.log now. So I'm going to say print callback and I'm going to pass the first um argument as a result and the second argument is going to be sum of a and b and in here where we are calling this add function i'm going to pass pretty print as the third argument now if i run this you can see here that the add function uses the pretty print function for printing the result so this is an example for callback function in synchronous programming now let's look at an example for using callback function in asynchronous programming. Let me clear all of these. For asynchronous programming example, we are going to use one of the built-in function called setTimeout. If you don't already know, what setTimeout does say is it takes a function as a parameter and calls that function of the specified amount of delay. First parameter is the callback function that the setTimeout is going to invoke. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pass an anonymous function which simply prints console.log um, with a message welcome. And the second parameter is going to be the delay in milliseconds. I'm going to specify 2000 for 2 seconds. And if I run this, you can see that the result welcome is printed on the screen after 2 seconds. Here we go. Now, how do we know this is actually run asynchronously? Well, let's prove that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say console.log and print the message before and after this at time mode I'm going to have another console log and that is going to say after and now if I run this you can see here the message before and after is printed before the welcome message so this proves that set time mode is actually called after two seconds delay and during the two seconds delay the javascript thread is still free and and that prints the after message here node.js heavily uses callback function for asynchronous programming in general you'll use callback functions in conjunction with the promise and observable for asynchronous programming I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.